Hi everyone, I'm Nadia, and in today's video, my mom is making resin trinket bowls using leaves. The first thing she needs to do is make a mold out of her leaves, so to do so, she's using Resin Pro's eye gum. It comes in two parts, and all you have to do is mix in equal amounts of the A and B by weight. She measures out 250 grams of her part A, and then also measures 250 grams of the part B. And now comes the fun part, which is just kneading them together, and this part really reminds me of playing with Play-Doh and is actually a lot of fun. Once you've achieved one color throughout, it's ready to work with. My mom separates them into two since she'll be making two molds with two different leaves. She tried to roll it out but quickly realized that the silicone sticks to the rolling pin. So to easily solve this issue, she just places a plastic sheet on top. She rolls it out into her desired shape and has her leaf ready. To make sure that her leaf doesn't stick to the silicone, she's covering the area that she'll be placing onto the silicone with silicone oil. This works as a release agent and cooking spray would work as well. Once her leaf is covered in silicone oil, she places it down onto the silicone, then places her plastic sheet on top, and again uses the rolling pin. Then she carefully removes her leaf. I'll have all the products that you see in this video listed in my description, so if you're interested in giving this tutorial a try, be sure to check that out. And she's using a small piece of the leaf just to touch up some areas. Now with the excess silicone around the leaf imprint, she'll be lifting it to create a mold that she can pour into. She uses a knife to outline the edge of the leaf and then continues to use her fingers and also her knife to help create that lifted area around the leaf imprint. Now she's ready to move on to her second batch of silicone and she follows the same process by rolling out the silicone under a plastic sheet. She'll be using a fig leaf for this one and she makes sure that her leaf fits onto the area that she rolled out. And again, she covers that bottom area of the leaf with silicone oil places it on top of the silicone, then places her plastic sheet on top, and uses a rolling pin to create an impression of the leaf on the silicone. And she carefully removes the leaf. Again, using her fingers as well as a butter knife, she creates a lifted border around the leaf impression.
In a small cup, she pours in some isopropyl alcohol and adds in Pinata's gold alcohol ink. She also adds in a small amount of bronze metallic powder. She mixes that all together and then pours it into a small bottle for easy application. She uses the nozzle to highlight and follow the imprints of the midrib and the veins. Thank you guys for tuning in to watch this video. If you're enjoying it so far, be sure to leave a thumbs up or a comment below. I also just introduced YouTube memberships, so if you really enjoy our content and want to help support our creations, you can now become a member of our channel. We really appreciate all of your support. Now she's using a variety of craft resins mica powders to add in some fun colors. She takes some mica powder onto a paintbrush and uses her finger to flick the mica powder off of the paintbrush and onto the silicone molds. She uses a combination of the magenta, crimson, emerald, violet, gold, and several more mica powders to create a fun little explosion of colors. Craft Resin offers all of these mica powders and more in their mica powder set, which I'll have linked in my description with a discount code. Now she's ready to mix in her resin and she's using craft resin which is a one to one ratio by volume. So she mixes in equal parts of the A and B and stirs that together well in one cup for several minutes. Once her resin is mixed in well and you can no longer see little streaks within your resin, she separates it into smaller cups to add in her pigments. She'll be using a combination of brown alcohol inks, she adds some into her cup of resin and then also directly drops some onto her silicone. And she does the same with this darker shade of brown. And she continues to play around and add in more drops of the alcohol ink onto the silicone molds. Now she'll be adding some of these beautiful bronze chrome flakes from Deepon into a small cup of resin. She mixes that in and then continues to add in more drops onto her silicone molds. Now she's adding some iridescent flakes into her darker brown pigmented resin. She takes that same cup and starts to pour around the edge of her molds.
then takes her lighter brown pigmented resin and pours into the center. And she adds in those beautiful flakes into the center as well. She follows those same steps in her second mold. A little bit of resin started to pour over the mold, so she's just using some alcohol wipes that she previously used to help barricade that off. She comes back the next day to demold before the resin has completely hardened. This time can vary depending on the resin that you're working with, but can typically be around 6 to 12 hours. Since the resin hasn't hardened all the way, it's fairly easy to manipulate, so she's using some painter's tape to guide the resin piece to harden in the shape that she wants. She allows it to continue its hardening process as is, and this can generally be around another day or if you want to play it really safe, you can leave it for two days. And then she comes back and removes the tape. She uses an X-Acto knife to scrape off any lifted or sharp areas. She uses this liquid metal from Pent Art to add on a beautiful bronze trim. She uses a Q-tip for easy application but also finds that using the makeup brushes that you use for eyeshadow works perfectly as well.
And here's the final product. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, subscribe to see more videos like this in the future. Follow me on my Instagram, Summer Girl Designs, and my mom's Instagram, Wild Heart Resin Art.